Hello, my name is Hugh Sung, and welcome to this super quick tutorial on the song See You Again from the movie Furious 7. So, if you're sitting at your piano, and you're in the middle, you can notice these two and three black key patterns in the middle of the piano or the keyboard, I want you to move and skip over to the next group of two and three black keys. And with the right hand, look for the three black keys and put your second finger on this note over here. This is an F, okay? And your thumb is actually going to play two notes. Look for these two black keys. You're going to aim for the line between those two notes so that you can play them together with the side of, the side of your thumb. Okay? That's going to be the right hand, the first chord in the right hand. And then you're going to go to this note over here, which is another C. Look for the two black keys. And you're going to go for the third black key here, which is a B flat. And then you're going to move your thumb over just a little bit to play this D. Remember we play the C and D together. We're going to just move over and play one note now. Let's just try that again. And then move over and play the D. Now let's take a look at your left hand notes to play with that. Now remember I told you to watch out for the, uh, to avoid these two and three black keys in the middle? We're going to go to the next set of three black keys here, right below that, to the left of that. Look for the two, three black keys in the key between the first and second black key. That's going to be your first note. You're going to play that with your pinky. That's a G. And then we're going to go and play the third black key with your third finger like that. Okay? And this is where it's going to be placed with your right hand. Play this together here. So the first chord and the first note of the left hand are played together. Play this note. And then you move your thumb over here, and that's when you play your third finger and your left hand together. Right? You want to put that together nice and smooth. All right? Now, remember we just played this B flat with our fourth finger? We're going to switch fingers and play that same note, but now with the third finger, because we need some extra fingers to play the fast notes right after that. So we're going to play B flat, C, D, C, back to B flat, back to C, and then you're going to go to an F. So put that all together. Kind of tricky, especially if you're pinky. If you've never been used to playing with your pinky, you might be tempted to go like this, but do your best to keep upright and try to play on the tip of your fifth finger. That'll help you play faster. And then you go back to this F over here. Okay. Now when you play this F, we're going to play and add this with something in the left hand. Now let's find that what's going to happen is your left hand is going to reach over and start playing notes in the middle now. Look for the three black keys. Third black key is a B flat. Two black keys here. The second one over here is an E flat. You're going to play those together. So after you play the fast notes in the right hand, all right, that's when you play them together here. Now the right hand is going to continue. Back to the C with the fourth finger, B flat, and then back to the F. And when you play the F again, you're going to play the left hand is going to hit another chord. It's going to play a B flat and an F over here at the same time. All together here with the second and fifth finger here. See that? And then the right hand is going to continue with this fast pattern. Okay? After you've played this, these two notes over here, your left hand is going to want to jump down. Look for the two black keys here. That's going to be a C, three black keys, th keys here, and this is going to be an F. You're going to play those together, okay? And what's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to coordinate that with the pinky note. And then when you play your thumb, you've got another set of two notes that you're going to play in your left hand. Did you see what, see what, did you see what happened? I played a two and a five here, and then the next set is going to be the notes adjacent to that. One and four. D here, three black keys are in between. That's a G. All right, let's review that again from the fast notes. F, and then again with the F again, we're going to move up your left hand and play an F and a third finger on a B flat. So let's do that again right there. And then again the fast notes. And when you play the F this time, we have one more set of two black keys here, the B flat and an E flat. So from the fast notes. And again, with the F, every time the F comes in, something seems to happen, eh? Now you're going to play an F over here. You're going to kind of open up your hand and then keep your second finger in that B flat. And that's the last note of the introduction. Let's just review that again. All right, one more time from the beginning, slowly, all the way through. Together.
here. And that's a super quick tutorial on the song. See you again for the movie Curious 7. If you'd like to learn more of your favorite songs, I invite you to check out my online popular piano school. Go to hughsungpiano.com to learn more.